Uh, yeah, I mean, I interviewed Kevin Childs, who was one of the the drug kingpins during that era. Yeah. Uh, and Alpo, I believe, testified against him oh, at wow. one point. And he compared Alpo uh, to Ted Bundy. Alpo ended up pleading guilty to killing 14 people. Right. That's just who he admitted to. Right. Uh, you actually compare him to, to Ted Bundy. Um, and again, this is this is this is my understanding as as I evolved and understood because he, he he's a real likable guy, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like you you, you know like um, and a lot of people who know Alpo, we know him from Harlem. The, the the person that that he turned out to be is not the person that I was friends with. You know what I'm saying? Um, I understand how the game goes, you know, the give and take with that, but. The person who he ultimately became when he went to D.C. was not the guy that that was the beloved guy in Harlem. Yeah, I, you know? I could see. People it. don't like to say stuff like that because Ted Bundy was this oddball, psychotic mass murderer. But, I mean, essentially, that's what Alpha was as well. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, from from <laughs> from the string of murders he had, is that he was very close, yeah. Yeah, and he told on a bunch of people. Like, I think uh, Wayne Perry... Uh, in D.C., like, you know, he's got a lot of, you know, people really hated him in D.C. Yeah. Of all the shit that he did over there. Um, you know, and but it's just, it's interesting to me how you really could be anywhere. Like, you, you, you could be in Maine eating a lobster roll right now. <laughs> you know, you could be in, in L.A. No one really cares about you out there right. in terms of wanting to get you. And his thinking was, well, listen, everyone who I have beef with is like 60 years old. And a lot of them are dead or in prison forever. So, you know, most 60 year olds are not going to go out and grab a gun and shoot somebody because when they get caught, they'll end up getting life in prison, you know, the, the rest of their life. Yeah, they little homies will, they kids will. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's still people younger than them that they raised, you know, who feel the same way because you affected their family, you affected their loved ones. You know what I mean? So you can't never underestimate that, man. Like never, ever, ever. Does that really happen though to people's kids? Absolutely, bro. Like I know, I know a youngster who, uh, when his father got killed, he was essentially a baby. Like he was like a little boy. You know what I mean? And the guys went to prison for it. Came out 17, 18 years later. Now he's grown. Guess what he did? Picked them off one by one. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, found them every found like at least at least two of them that I know. You know what I mean? They they cuz they wow. came back to the same situation like they was all from the same neighborhood. So they didn't really have nowhere to go after that many years they came came back to the same neighborhood. He's grown now. And he caught he caught each of them and did his stuff, you know? Oh, okay. Did he ultimately get caught or is he still Uh he didn't ever get caught, but he ended up getting killed like later. Ah, uh, okay. 